Welcome back to another episode of the Credit Concept Podcast. I am your host, credit coach Nicole Scott, and in today's episode, we're going to be diving into trade lines. Trade lines are the fastest way to boost your credit score and increase your credit profile by lowering your overall credit card utilization, adding high limits to your credit profile, and even adding age to your credit profile. Trade lines are a complete game changer when it comes to credit. If you are serious about your credit score, you are going to need trade lines. Let's dive into it. And keep in mind, we offer trade lines. So if you are interested in purchasing trade lines to enhance your personal credit or business credit, make sure to visit the link below and you can view our entire list of trade lines. First, let's go over the concept of what a trade line is. There are authorized user trade lines, which is where someone adds you as an authorized user to their credit card and you inherit or piggyback off their good credit history. Now, you only want to be added to credit cards as an authorized user if that person has a 100% on-time payment, meaning they have never been late on even one single payment, and they have a fairly low credit card utilization. So again, the utilization is going to be the percentage compared to what the credit limit is. So if your credit limit is $1,000, 10% of that is 100 bucks it's not much. And we want to keep our credit balance below 10%. So we're only utilizing 10% of our available credit limit because we don't want the banks to think that we need their money. It's okay when you have higher limits, but when we're still low in, you know, the under 5k range, when it comes to credit card limits, you really have a very short window that you can work with. You really need to expand your flexibility when it comes to credit and get high limit credit cards. And the way to do that is by having people add you as an authorized user. You can get higher limits on your credit profile. You can even inherit the history. And of course, that's going to help you obtain higher limit credit cards. Because a lot of times when you go through a credit card application, it is a computer system. They can still see that it's an authorized user, but those higher limits are gonna help you get approved for higher limits over time. It's not gonna be in it depends on the bank. You know, you have to do it strategically, but trade lines are authorized user trade lines are a great way to help enhance your credit report. Now, other trade lines are primary trade lines. Primary trade lines are trade lines that you have established. They belong to you. Auto loans, credit cards, they are in your name and you are 100% responsible for the payment of that account, right? Those are primary trade lines. Primary trade lines, you want to have at least 10 or more 10 to 20 primary trade lines on your credit report. The more trade lines that you have on your credit report, the more credible you are. And keep in mind, you do not want to keep balances on more than a couple cards. So if you have 10 credit cards, you do not want to keep balances on more than two. You can get denied for having balances on too many credit cards, even if the balances are extremely low. So when you are a applying for credit when you are doing a funding sequence, make sure that all of your credit card balances have been updated with the credit bureaus to zero before you apply for any additional funding, because you can do some credit card stacking, three credit cards on each credit bureau and get a crap ton of credit cards all by credit card stacking, as long as you have that zero balance and you do it strategically. But back to trade lines. So primary trade lines, you can also buy primary trade lines. If you don't want to go get a loan, you don't want to go get an auto loan, you can buy primary trade lines that are auto loans, personal loans, revolving loans. Uh, We have some primary trade lines in our trade lines list. We also have authorized user trade lines. So we help our clients by adding these trade lines to their credit report, and then they piggyback off that and they're able to get better credit cards, better rates, higher limits, Um, their credit score goes up. Now, a lot of people talk about, well, 
does this work for everything? No, it doesn't work for everything because you have to understand the concept behind the trade lines. This just helps enhance your credit profile. Some people are going to buy it. Some people are not. Okay. Mortgage lenders, you're going to need to have a couple credit cards that are in your name that you have at least 12 to 24 months of on-time payment because they're not going to be buying a bunch of authorized user accounts. You have to show your primary accounts and your ability to repay back debt as agreed, which is on-time payments. And even if you're not using a credit card, it still reports as an on-time payment, okay? So if you have any family members, grandmas, moms, aunts, even uncles that have credit cards that have been open forever. Say they have like a Target credit card or a Macy's credit card or some Penny's credit card, you know, a Citibank, anything that they can add you to as an authorized user so you can inherit their history, that is gonna help you out immensely because that's what you need in order to get better credit cards. That way you can kind of piggyback off their credit because it's no risk to the card holder. The authorized user credit card is mailed to the account holder. They get it, they activate the card, and then they can cut it up. All that we're looking to do is inherit that good history and those good limits and that perfect payment history onto our credit report so we can piggyback off it. Oftentimes when I add trade lines to people's credit report, it literally skyrockets their credit score. I just recently had a client that came to me with a credit score of four, meaning he did not have any credit. Uh, he did not have any credit cards. He did not have any credit whatsoever. He just had negatives. So we were able to add some trade lines to his credit report, get him all situated. Now all of his credit scores are 700 and above. Now it's considered a synthetic credit score because it's not yours. It's you inherited it because you piggybacked off someone else. So he still got work to do, but he's opened up some secured credit credit cards. He understands what the mission is. He understands because we did coaching, we worked together. So he understands the process of what he needs to go through in order to be successful long-term with his credit. And that's something that you guys have to understand the concept of too. This credit is not fast. Okay. It takes time. Don't expect instant gratification. Now trade lines will report to your credit report about, well, for authorized users, 10 days, days after the statement date. So they report pretty quickly, but for primaries, they could take 30 to 45 days to report onto your credit report. So it's just a bit depends. Just like when you get a new credit card or you get a new auto loan, it usually takes about a month or a month and a half for it to actually show up on your credit because you know, it's processing and all that good stuff. So you just want to understand the concept behind credit, behind trade lines, what trade lines are good for. Now, trade lines are good for adding credit history history, credit limits. Uh, these are credit limits that you probably wouldn't be able to obtain if you didn't have those higher limits listed on your credit report. Because think about this, think about the concept. Okay. If a bank is looking at your credit report and the highest credit limit that you have listed on your credit report is $500, how much money do you think they are going to approve you for? Most likely no more than a thousand because your highest credit limit is $500. But if you add a couple trade lines, say I add a 10 K trade line, I had a 25K trade line. You now are going to be somewhere in the middle, right? They might give you a few thousand. They might give you 10,000. You just have to continue to make sure that your bills are paid on time. Your credit utilization is low. So when you do apply for credit cards in your own name, you're piggybacking off the good credit that you have, right? And you could do this for business credit cards because business, a lot of business credit cards um, are going to look at your personal credit report. And as long as you have a strong credit profile, you will get approved. Uh, a strong credit profile is not just a bunch of authorized user accounts. It is going to be a mixture of accounts. It's going to be mainly primary accounts that are in your name that you are responsible for. Okay. Those are primary accounts, whether you buy them, whether you have them on your own, you need to have at least 10 primary accounts. Okay. Um, or close to it, right? If you have five, you could probably get two authorized users. You only want to have about 20% authorized users. So, you start off with two, build on that. And then in about three months, you add two more, you build off that and you can rinse and repeat every, every three months. 
Okay, that's what I did for a year straight. I added trade lines to my credit profile about every 90 days and I did the credit card stacking and I was building and building and building and I took action and I did it. And guess what? It worked. You know, as I sit here today, today is March 9th of 2023. I remember the struggles that I went through when I had a 484 credit score and it was hard and I used several credit repair people and I went through a lot trying to figure all this out, right? That was back in what, 2017? And it was just bad, you know? It was so bad. And I tell you, it was so hard with bad credit. My life was so hard. I couldn't get approved for housing because I had such bad credit. And it was just very hard and difficult. And I just can't imagine having to deal with that today and having, you know, a three-year-old child. Like, you know, at some point you have to tell yourself, look, everything that I do requires credit. If I'm going to do this credit thing, I want to make sure that I have the best credit score possible. So that way, everything that I do is going to be approved. Okay. Everything that I want to do, I can do because credit opens doors that no one else can open. It opens the bank's doors. Okay. You're not going to get into the bank with a bad credit score. Okay. So now is the time to get your stuff together. Make sure that you're focusing on building building your credit report. And that means cleaning up the derogatories. You know, I always say you remove the negatives and you add positive. You remove the negatives and you add positive. And you just need to keep on doing that. Remove negatives. And what removing negatives means is you dispute it. We have credit repair. If you need to sign up for credit repair, sign up with us. We have a link below, but you got to get the negatives cleared up. Whether you pay them, whether you get them deleted, you never know what the best option is going to be because it's different for everyone. In some cases, I tell people, let's fight this. It will give it three to six months. If we can't get it off your credit report, then we're going to settle with it because if it's only a couple hundred dollars, we're not going to keep on fighting them over something that's going to cost you more money over time. Okay. Even if it's a couple thousand, sometimes we just have to pay old debts if they have been able to validate that it in fact belongs to us. Sometimes part of credit repair is saying, Hey, that's my old debt. I did it. I was wrong. I was in a financial bind, but you know what bank? I want to make right with you. Okay. And I want to settle with you and I'll pay you X amount of dollars. If you settle and update to a zero, that's going to help you too, because now it's going to reflect as a paid account versus a derogatory account. It's not going to be actively reporting as a derogatory account every month. It's like you're bleeding when you have derogatory remarks reported every month. They're no longer going to be reported reporting it a derogatory if you settle it. Okay. It's going to stop reporting because it's going to be settled. It's going to be a zero balance. Okay. Understand the concept. Okay. Understand the concept behind credit back to our trade line conversation. I got a little off track as I normally do with you guys, but I am very passionate about trade lines because it literally helped me go from $500 approvals to $30,000 approvals on the credit cards. Okay. Okay. It helped me go from a 26% interest rate on my auto loans to a 3% interest rate on my auto loans, which literally has saved me hundreds of dollars a month, thousands over the years. Okay. So it's very powerful what trade lines can do to your credit report, but you have to be willing, able to invest in your credit. Credit is not cheap by any means, but bad credit is going to cost you more in the long run because they take take advantage of people with bad credit. They charge you way more interest on your auto loans, which can end up costing you hundreds of dollars more per month. I literally saved over $200 a month on one of my auto loans by refinancing to a much lower interest rate. And it was amazing. That's $200 a month that was going straight to interest for seven years. Are you serious? Stop. We have to be smarter with our finances. We have to make sure that we understand the concept of credit and how powerful it really is. And trade lines are really a great way to help enhance your credit profile, get you a higher credit score, get you into the 700s, because for some reason, when we are in the 700 club, we tend to get better approvals, right? I say our goal is 750 and above, right? If you want to get to 800, by all means, go to 800. But nowadays, 750 is good credit, right? And if we're going to do this credit thing, we might as well 
do it the best that we can. And no one ever talks about how to get to an 800. You only hear people with an 800 credit score that are super old, right? Because nowadays the banks don't want you to know these secrets. They don't want us to piggyback off other people's good credit, even though the underground world of credit knows it's still popping. It still works. It is literally the way that so many people are able to leverage their credit, get excellent approvals, get higher limits, right? It is literally the gateway to this whole credit thing. So if you have additional questions about trade lines, we offer trade lines. We have primary trade lines. We have authorized user trade lines. We have all of the different trade lines for the personal side. We also have trade lines for your business side as well. So if you're interested in adding trade lines to your profile to help get your profile enhanced, make sure to visit the link below and go to our trade lines list. It has all of our different trade lines that you might have an interest in purchasing. And if you are ready to purchase trade lines, whether those be personal or business trade lines, you can schedule a call with me and we can process your order. But please, with the amount of people that reach out to me, I can only deal with people that are willing, ready, and able to, you know, do business right now because I deal with a lot of people. I am very busy. Uh, we literally, I literally have over 700 text messages and thousands of emails that I have not gone through. So that goes to show you a lot of people reach out, but you know what? If someone's serious, let's just do business. Let's just do it, right? Because a lot of people schedule calls with me to ask questions, which I understand a lot of people have questions, but either you want to do this right now or you don't, but don't schedule a call with me until you are ready, willing, and able to make that financial investment in yourself, whether that's with credit coaching or whether that's with trade lines or whether you want to sign up for credit repair, because we don't have time to provide free calls for everyone that, um, you know, comes across our page, but we want to give you guys as much value as possible. So if you have questions, you can always email us support at creditcoachpros.com. I am your host, credit coach, Nicole Scott. Make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, credit coach, Nicole Scott, turn those bell notifications on because I drop videos all the time that literally give you the game. Check out all of our playlists in the description. There are links to the credit repair playlist. There are links to the credit concept playlist. They are links to everything. Follow me on Instagram at Credit Coach Nicole Scott. We put out reels daily that will provide you nothing but free value. Check out all the links below and you can get a bunch of free value, including our free guide, how to get up to 500K in business credit. Let's go.